All right, hey, man. Hey, man, you look good in that. Hey, man. In that beanie. How you notice my new beanie? Which I've been calling hoodie for some reason for weeks. It's a head hoodie. I don't know why. Every time I say, I look at that thing, I want to say hoodie, but I know the difference. <laughs> hey, man, have you noticed my new beanie? <laughs> huh? It makes you talk funny. Man. Now, we I don't feel great. We are presenting uh, two options for how you can, how you can, bring, yeah, bring, bring the items in. How you can wear your, your beanies. Right. Uh, I don't know, this is, I think, Stevie, wouldn't you call this the like Silver Lake style? This yes. is like, this is a Silver Lake style, which I. Don't I know, this is also currently the Silver Lake style. Really? What about, what about this? The, um, Whoa, look at, mine's kind of tight. It made a little forehead imprint. The like yeah. extreme roll up situation. They're like super tight on them. On the top. I don't really wear a, a beanie like this, but I just wanted to experiment with it because I wanted to represent one of the options. This kind of makes my head look short when I pull it up this high. Who wants corndogs? Anybody who wants corndogs, come on in. Now, uh, refresh me refresh me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I just mix two expressions together. Uh, I mean, like spritz you? But we asked you Guys. to to uh, to tell us <laughs> what colors of uh, beanie you wanted. That's correct. The Mythical Beasts voted, and you guys, the two top colors that you voted for were orange and gray, and so therefore we're giving you what you asked for, orange and gray beanies. Mm. It keeps the tops of my ears very warm. Here, Stevie, try this one on. I don't have hair herpes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and can I? Do you? Mm, not today. Yeah, see, that, you went right for that style. Just yeah. like the. Wow. Who else is coming in? Link, you look cool. Morgan? Yeah, you look cool with this. doesn't really make any of them sound that appetizing. <laughs> I, I legit want to try the escargot because I've never had it. Is this a bad uh, first time butters. experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you have any I do more? not want to try it. Do you have any more of the beanies? I mean, you haven't had escargot? No. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that's a little strange. Oh, try that. It seemed like I would have had it. Try that. Um, you like it. Uh, you like it. Um, it is good though. I mean, it. I think if you're gonna, if it's your first time with escargot, I mean, I think you need. Yeah, you gotta like be at like a restaurant. First time knows. I ate escargot was in France, on a, at a castle in a castle wall. Cool. It was. <laughs> it was uh, Saint. What was the name of that place? <laughs> that's like the best place. Ever to eat escargot for the first time in a castle in France? Yeah, and then you're just gonna be all jealous with your response. What was the name of that city? Saint. Saint, Saint cool. What was the name of the city, man? I want to know. Saint Michel. No, it was like Saint. Mar I will never know. Really? It was. <laughs> it's the. Somebody p write it in the comments. It's. Uh, it's the completely walled historical city in uh, France. You know, in the south of France. I bet there's well, a lot of those. What should we eat? The eggnog, the egg, the corn. <coughs> Come on up, guys. Yeah, those so, two are a little broken, but there's forks. All the way. Length. All the way. Come on. Don't be shy. Forks here, as well. Oh, and the spinach mm -hmm. artichoke dog. Sorry, this ketchup. Is this? Oh, this is the. That so. is the <laughs> eggnog. The the corn the mm -hmm. corn nog is the best way to. No, not that way. Go, I would just do pick a cross section. Yeah. yeah. Now, really some good. of you may have noticed the consistency of the eggnog. It wasn't like it just poured out like a mm -hmm. like a liquid. That's because Chase added a little uh, cornstarch. Thickened it. He thickened it so it would be a little more gooey and less just straight up liquid. Because eggnog. Oh, good. thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't want to keep wearing your hat because thank you. I didn't it's feel good. like. I didn't ask permission. Beforehand. Yeah, Link thought it was incredible. I thought it was good. He said it was the best yeah. thing he's ever had on Willet. I, I don't know where it, you've been. I mean, if it, if it had, what do you think the best thing you ever had on Willet? It's hard to say. I, <laughs> I think the best thing I can remember because I don't remember. I think the spinach and artichoke is better than that. But oh, just, even mm. just Less determined. like w with, yeah. within this episode, there's something that's better in my opinion. Yeah, because even at the fair, you would eat it like that. It no. would have a stick, but then it would just be shenanigans. You know, yeah, I really, it's basically. I really think you should enjoy it like the Twinkie. Um, it just uh, well, okay. I mean, you can use this as. Um, it has like the eggnog one has a. Almost like pancake batter taste mm -hmm. after, like it mm -hmm. tastes like raw pancake batter. Mm. He likes raw batter. That might be why he likes it so much. I'm afraid if I bite from this end, I'm not gonna get the. I think that may dip. be the cornstarch. Okay, I think I'll do it. 
Yeah, you got it. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just, just it tastes exactly like you would imagine. Mm -hmm. You know. Have you guys like heard the about the eliminates the need um, for chips? Sorry. This the sale that's going on at retlink.com slash store. Oh yeah, it's a Black Friday sale. It's a huge sale. It's amazing. I mean everything has got this once in a year discount yeah. associated with it. Are now, there a paper towel? Now Thank you. this one <clears throat> is complex. You gotta open the gates wide to receive now, that one. I, I don't know if there's such thing as like uh, you can't copyright a, a recipe, right? That's, that, there's no there's no you intellectual property it. rights of recipes. You can trademark. You can the trademark name. the name. The corn doggy dog. But what about like? It's not like we would pursue it. <laughs> proprietary secrets for what? Because what what I'm basically saying is is that we aren't yet going to start a state fair stand. We will before we die. Link and I will man a state fair food stand. We will have desperate looks on our faces. Okay. Because. <laughs> It'll be it'll place. be our that, last. That is going to happen. Straw. It's some is. state fair, probably North Carolina. We'll figure that out. But completely deep frying a hot dog that has all the toppings on the inside. I don't know if we clarified that, but the toppings for the hot dog are on the inside and then again on the outside. This is a fair idea. This is a great idea. Oh, yeah. You can, will make a lot of money if you sell. Can this. we talk for a second? Talk for a minute about how serious <laughs> you are. About what we just said, yeah, I'm not. I'm not being facetious. We we should have a state fair booth. We will have a state. We fair We will booth. have one. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. It will happen. <laughs> will we mean it. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna. It, it, we're gonna just. We gotta pick just the right item. This may be it. I don't know. Maybe maybe if we're like if we do and that maybe we do it as a tour. Maybe we do a, a state fair booth tour, and it's just our booth. You know what this needs? No competition. Melted cheese. On yeah, top? we can do that as well. It's extra. It's three dollars extra. <laughs> now you can wrap it all this in bacon. This is a state again, fair. Too, we're gonna make a killing. That's why we're doing it. Now, the one thing I will say is I think that. With this one in particular, if we were to try to state fairize this one and make it an actual sellable item, I think the one adjustment that I would make is. You gotta find a way to get the batter to be a little bit thinner, so it kind of yeah. encases the dog, but the the dogness of the dog is. I mean, this is an, an excellent job, but I'm talking about <laughs> mass marketing this thing. Your batter will also go further if you get a thinner batter, but just enough to cover it, and then you deep fry it. So it basically has almost like a uh, what is the the Gordon Ramsay famous dish that. Uh, beef Wellington, how it has like a yeah, just a casing Flaky around it. Flaky crust. Uh, it, it needs to be batter, but it just needs to be thin, so it's easy to handle. Because you, you don't want to have to force people to share it. You want to really be able to hold it up and eat it like that. And this is the amount of input that we'll be giving. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> on our, our you know, we're not going to actually deep fry anything. We're just going to stand. One of us have a microphone trying to attract people. And the other person will be like actually feeding people, right? And we'll right. alternate. Yep. And I'll be guessing heights and weights also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We Sorry. might have one of those <laughs> things where it's like oh, lots of things, like hammers, yeah. weight, mm -hmm. test sure. of strength. Yeah. I, get at that, I really like the cross section that's happening in the middle. Oh yeah, middle. it's yeah. it's great. Kind of what about one of those guns that shoots water into the mouth of like a a clown head? And it and it makes the progress bar raise up, and the first person to hit the dinger wins. Except with this, they'd be shooting water into our mouths, but they they pay us and they'd provide the water. Because it's we, just when we get thirsty. When we get thirsty, people will, will spray it. <laughs> <in our laughs> <mouth>. So weird. <laughs> Where'd you get the hot dog from? Uh, the market. The market. <laughs> I got it from to the market, market. To market to buy a fat hog. Home again, home oh, again. Jig to jug. There's a hot dog. You lost the, the hot dog in there? I've lost the dog. To market, to market, to buy a fat here. pig. Oh no, here's on the other side. Oh, I think I might have taken home. Oh, sorry. Oh, my I just realized okay. there's a lot of. This little Look piggy at that went bacon to market. Wrapped. This little piggy stays home. Oh, this little it. piggy had roast beef. I mean, that's just good. This little I can't piggy. Any way you slice it, literally, go it is going to be good. I'm just going to do this. A little pig eating roast beef. Is that disturbing? Yeah. Are you? But they, I mean, <laughs> pigs eat lots of things. Lots of people dispose of their bodies with pigs. Right. You just throw a body into a herd of pigs. Gone. They'll eat it right down to the nothing. Herd is not the right word. A pod? Get anything except pod of pigs. 
No. And there she is. <laughs> but it was good. Guys, I don't know if you remember the possum dog, but we have a little bit more. I don't know if you remember it, but it's right here. Oh my God. Uh, somebody, y'all got to try some possum meat. Is it super gamey? It is not. It is not pleasant. I mean, if I was really, really, really hungry, like to the point of I really had to eat it for nutrients, I could do it. It probably tastes incredible at that point. We have a lot of possums in my backyard. That well, hang out. which is not where we got it from. <laughs> I have raccoons and possums in, in, the, in the backyard. <laughs> I can't I even look over process, there. Though. We have a possum <laughs> dog. Stevie's got possums in her backyard. You know what's worse than eating possum? Why is no one grabbing this? Is regurgitating <laughs> possum, looking at it. Ew! I don't like the bite either. <laughs> I don't like anything. That's where you need to retrieve it. the possum from, is the bite part. I don't part. think I can do it. Here, 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 let me prep this for you guys. You need to get power from the beanie. I'm gonna make it. Okay. I'm gonna make this. Get easy. power from the beanie. Did we mention that the beanies have power and they're they're on an inc part of an incredible sale? Golly, oh, that is. Have you heard about it? Um, Possum just grabs hold of a dowel. <laughs> have you? I have. Where where would this sale be? Uh, I think retinlink.com/store. I think you're right, Chase. I'm gonna pull I'm back. Excited. I'm pulling back the batter. Oh, no. Why? That's I just want open it up so you can saving grace. So it's like a possum buffet. Oh. Golly, look how fatty it is. Morgan, oh. Morgan, get you a mouthful of possum. It looks like a possum casserole. Hello, <laughs> Hello Morgan. I, oh, no. I I covered up my vomit with. Uh, I'm not gonna get out a, of doing this, so I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, just get a little. Have you tried any, Chase? But I don't want yeah. like a hard. Yeah, I already, I already did. I don't want to. <sighs> I yeah, want just get a meaty, that I'm going to be able to eat. Yeah, get a meaty piece. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of possum being wasted out there. They're doing nothing oh, but no. getting run over and thrown into dumpsters. <laughs> you know? I think this is respectable. In the future, they'll probably be. This is probably what we'll this turn to because they don't. Down. Possums don't make I as much methane as the cat, the cattle it's too do. Too flaky. Mm -hmm. They're like the cockroaches of the animal world. Well, the, the possum will represent our transition off of meat onto insects, but we'll we'll get there via possum. Right, look at those beautiful tires. Yeah, those look amazing. 50 years from now, possum. 100 years from now, all insects. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was smart. Give a little light skip and go straight to insects. Chase. You're a possum skipper, huh? Yeah, I'm over that one. Oh, that's... Oh, that's like a roast. That's roast beef. Mm -hmm. Like a roast beef slab. He saw it at the meat. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know what meat got me going, but once I started, I, I couldn't stop. Well, me. I kept feeding you uh, details. You know, details about what was going on. Yeah, that was what it was. Yeah. You've already tasted this, Chase? <laughs> no, I was just trying to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've already tasted it. Did you taste it, Eddie? What? Did you taste the possum meat? Oh yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? I'm, I'm going with my hand. You're not oh. getting any of the corn meal? I need to get meal? corn, you're right. Yeah, you're right. get some Is corn. Is this just food, it's just food it's coloring? It's literally food coloring, yeah. Okay. No, it's poison. I'll though. get some tire. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tell them what you told me. It's a little gelatinous, mm -hmm. a little gamey. Mm -hmm. You can uh, taste its life in there. <laughs> like like the fact that it spends time amongst the peoples. I'm playing dead. Playing dead. Oh, just missed a car. It reminds <laughs> me of something. One. It reminds me of... Remember that time there was a sprinkler that went off and we thought it was a possum? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I do remember that. Uh, I don't think yeah, but I've then we didn't turn around scared. and eat it. We were we were sitting in the backyard of this place, and you know sprinklers come on at night and they go. Tss. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us were sitting out there, and we heard no, that noise. No, we were like it was behind us, not. Yeah, yeah, like, but, but like, we were sitting like this. The thing goes off behind me and Stevie, <laughs> and we ran, and I just like knocked. I like ran over Link. <laughs> I thought there was a wild possum <laughs> behind us. And then eventually we all got to the other end of the yard and we looked back and the sprinklers were just going tss. <laughs> and we were like, oh, that's not a possum. We flipped a chair over. That's a sprinkler. I went backwards over to my chair trying to get away from you guys coming at me. Well, how did you get, you guys ate that. How did you do I it? I told them a story so they'd forget about it. No, you know what I think it is is that I, like we each 
picked like a piece of meat that was edible. Mm -hmm. We got, we got, like, yeah. Gristle. We got, I got heavy gristle, heavy gristle mounts. And I had like a three to one ratio of like batter to meat. So I just kept looking. It was like a possum was staring me in the face, but looking <laughs> to either side. And it was like. That's what they do. This felt very connected to its face when I was eating it. That's not a good practice. I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to. Oh, get her to go for the S car go. She's never eaten that. I this did, is I, good. I, I don't think that should be your first S car go experience. Oh, you're rejecting it? No, I mean, have you guys had S car go before? Yeah. Well, then you guys should try that. <laughs> I just think that if, <laughs> it's, it's good. Yes. I just don't think Stevie's first escargot experience should be within the context of That's a corn so dog. Kind. Butter sauce? No, do it, garlic. Stevie. But I will say that they're good. Sweet. But they're not like hot the and right inside the little escargot plate that they give you at the fancy places. Or it's just sitting there, just sitting in butter. Sorry. You want me? Yeah. Can, and try to twist. It's, just, it's, a it's group so black. Team activity. Oh. <laughs> are you trying to make it worse? Or are you? It's like dirt. <laughs> it's like a dirt snail. It is a snail. I mean, so I got. I'll, I'll tell you. I, it's not that I like it. It's just oh, that. We just eat. It's just like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, just the like butter a, helps a lot. It's oh. like a clam with butter oh. on it or something. You it's both like a. Buttered yourselves. It's like a land clam. Land clam. <laughs> How are they prepared? Um, like they they come in a in a how do they come? Um, how do they come? They come in like, a dozen. I think there's I, I, I think dishes, they're like right? sautéed. Like, oh, but for us, I mean. Oh. Like, can. They just got a can of it. And, and it was our, they were like boiled or prepared or raw. I think they were already cooked, but you bake them again. You bake them, and then with like a buttery sauce on them, and then. Serve them with like a buttery garlic sauce, which if, is what. Mm. This is. If you remember the, uh, you remember the family that we went to when we did that uh, Toyota thing with the tree, and we made the Christmas mm -hmm. tree that threw the the presents. So that family. You want to smell? Wait, this that make family. It, make you happy. No, I remember the family that we did the Toyota thing with with the mm -hmm. romantic. Um, Thank yeah. you. Should pick one of those up. No, the one, the family where we had the tree that was got spinning time. presents, and they uh -huh. had the, the two boys and the girl, and then the mom and dad. Well, the dad of that family, because now because Locke dives with the with the son. Mm -hmm. The dad of that family, his his family, back in Switzerland, was famous for escargot, and when and his dad, in the house he grew up in. The whole first floor of the house was snail farms, and everybody lived upstairs. So the whole first floor of the house was like they grew the snails in the house in these like bins and stuff. You mean breed them? Grow them? Yeah, they breed, they bred them, and but it was a farm oh. operation. They would go and collect them, but they were they, yeah they were breeding them in the house. And these they, are from Indonesia. And he's and the, and the family is famous Fancy. for escargot. They're like known as they had like in this restaurant and. They were a snail supplier. They had a restaurant too. I'm pretty sure, but they were a snail That's supplier, really like a from like Sorry. World War II, believe. Very large size snails. But this is just one of those things that now is considered a del delicacy, but it did start as a necessity. Most de delicacies start as a necessity. Nobody's like, hmm. There's only they taste great. Like a lobster, lobster mm -hmm. situation. Right. So there's 96 snails in this uh, thing here. Exactly 96? Yeah, it says eight dozen snails right there. Can I hold it? Oh. Well, they, they, they count the actual snails. And we're counting on you to go to retinlink.com slash store. For, for snails. For all, all of your... We sell 96 at a time. All your Black Friday needs. <laughs>